Hey guys, I'm back with another Blender 2.8 video. Um, this time I'm gonna compare the new EV renderer with the Cycles renderer. So for those of you who haven't tried out Blender 2.8 yet, I encourage you to go to the official Blender website, www.blender.org, download Blender 2.8. Right here, click the future, Blender 2.8. Scroll down a little bit and go right here. Download Blender 2.8. Now, I'll caution you, it's not exactly stable. But in the process of creating this scene that I made, uh, it crashed quite a bit, uh, which was expected because this is still in development, still heavily in development. And I, I think they're aiming to be done by fall, but that's still pretty far away. So. Right here, I've got Blender 2.8 open, and I'm gonna load up the scene, which was a TIE Fighter. I do have Ah, oh, there we go. There, crashed again. Okay. No big deal. Okay, so I am in EV render mode, which is what probably a lot of you are more interested in. This was the scene I created. Now, um, some of you may have seen my other video where I showcased the TIE Fighter in uh, EV and how that rendered. And this is more of a completed image, a, a little bit more polished and kind of ready to go. Um, I'll say, I think there, there's some weird things going on with the lighting as I have my single lamp right here which i used to kind of create a green light off these laser beams it seems to be reflecting on the outside of this wing rather than the inside even though you can clearly see it's here in between i'm not sure what's going on there it actually doesn't do that in cycles so but uh i, I think this is a really cool looking image i'll show you my uh pbr textures So, using the principal shader, uh, I basically just plug and play all my textures right into the appropriate slots, uh, straight out of Substance Painter. So it's pretty easy. The nice thing about this is, once you set it up for Eevee, it works uh, right away in Cycles. So, I can flip right over to Cycles Render, and there we go, it renders. I think uh, Cycles does look better than Eevee, but Cycles Render is a proper renderer. It's not a real-time renderer. Although, uh, I, I think Blender has done a good job of speeding it up tremendously over the past. It, it's it's still... Um, this, the speed is nowhere near what Eevee speed is, but the quality is better, so it's kind of a trade-off. And like I said, that lighting issue is not present here in Cycles, like it is in Eevee. So, um, I think the, I think when you're, when you're deciding what renderer to use, you need to decide, do you want really, really fast, or with, um, Maybe not quite as physically accurate, or do you want a render that's going to take longer? It could be a lot longer, um, but will look a whole lot better. So right now, I guess I'll go ahead and compare my images, my final renders for uh, this TIE Fighter. Okay, so now I'm going to compare and contrast the two renders in uh, Eevee and Cycles. So, first I have to say both images were rendered at 4K resolution. They were exactly the same. I didn't modify anything in the, in the scenes other than the render engine. So, I'm going to start off with the Cycles render. Or, I mean, the Eevee render, sorry. So, the Eevee render is very clear. It took 
maybe three seconds to render, honestly. It was very quick. And it has some built-in uh, post-processing with the bloom and the AO, all of that. Um, I'll switch over to Cycles. The Cycles render, I think, was came out a lot better. The quality is a lot nicer. Uh, but it took, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half to render at 4K resolution um, on CPU. This was without any uh, post-process. I did um, do a little post-process in Photoshop, but you can see here. So overall, I guess your pros and cons are, for Eevee, you're gonna get a, a quick render. It may not look as good, but it's only gonna take a couple seconds, even at, even at an incredibly high resolution. And it's pretty clear and still looks you know, really good. Um, then cycles, you're gonna get the best image quality, but you're gonna have to wait for it. So that's about um, that's about all I can say about these two renders. Compare and contrast. Uh, ultimately, I guess it'll be your preference. It's what you like. So anyway, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.